Social Identity Theory Have you ever wondered why people form groups and identify with them? How do individuals derive a sense of self from their social groups? The social identity theory provides insight into these questions by explaining how individual self-concept is shaped by their social identity, which is influenced by the groups they belong to. Let's explore the top seven points of social identity theory in detail, using engaging storytelling style to help you understand the theory better. 1. What is social identity theory? Social identity theory is a social psychological theory that suggests that individuals derive part of their self-concept from the groups to which they belong. The theory proposes that people categorize themselves into social categories based on characteristics like gender, race, religion, nationality, etc. and then evaluate these groups positively or negatively. This evaluation can lead to in-group favoritism and out-group derogation. 2. The Three Processes of Social Identity Theory Social identity theory consists of three interrelated processes, social categorization, social identification, and social comparison. Social categorization is the process of identifying oneself as a member of a particular social category, while social identification is the process of adopting the identity of that group. Social comparison, on the other hand, is the process of evaluating one's group in comparison to other groups. 3. In group favoritism, social identity theory proposes that individuals tend to favor members of their in group over those in the out group. This in group favoritism is a natural human tendency and can be observed in many situations. For example, people tend to support their country's team in sports competitions even if they have no personal association with the players. 4. Out group derogation. The flip side of in-group favoritism is out-group derogation. This is when individuals hold negative attitudes towards members of other groups. For example, someone might make derogatory remarks about another race or religion. Out-group derogation can lead to prejudice, discrimination, and conflict between groups. 5. Social identity and self-esteem Social identity theory suggests that our social identity is linked to our self-esteem. When we feel good about our social identity, we experience positive emotions, which contribute to higher self-esteem. Conversely, when our social identity is threatened, we may experience negative emotions, leading to lower self-esteem. 6. The Impact of Social Identity Theory Social identity theory has significant implications for a range of social phenomena, such as stereotyping, discrimination, and inter-group conflict. It provides insight into why individuals form groups and identify with them, and how this affects their behavior towards members of other groups. 7. Criticisms of Social Identity Theory While social identity theory has contributed significantly to our understanding of group dynamics, it has also faced some criticism. Some critics argue that the theory overemphasizes the role of social identity in shaping behavior and overlooks other factors like personality and situational variables. Others contend that the theory fails to account for the diversity of experiences within a group and the complexity of group dynamics. Conclusion Social identity theory provides insight into the formation of group identity and how this affects inter-group behavior. By understanding the processes of social categorization, social identification, and social comparison, we can better understand the impact of social identity on our attitudes and behavior towards members of our own and other groups. However, as with any theory, social identity theory has its limitations and should be considered in the broader context of social psychology. So, what do you think about the social identity theory? How do you think it influences our behavior towards members of other groups?